Welcome to this episode of Quilt 101. We are very excited to share with you this, um, this kind of lesson on how to make the Crossroads Quilt Kit. Welcome to this episode on the Crossroads Quilt Kit pattern. It's right here. Yes, so I don't know if you've seen our other videos where we kind of like go step by step in making this and just and just back to our, I think it was in our basics videos that we made. So now we're gonna kind of teach you how to make it and different types of patterns that you can make with it as well. Yeah, so the fun thing with this pattern is that you can do it in different ways. So this way is two colors and it turned out like that. Um, we have the one that we're gonna show you today is actually using a half of a jelly roll. So. So a baby size is a half a jelly roll. Which is that. Yeah. Yep. Um, a full jelly roll would be a lap size. So you can get a pretty, and you use literally almost every yeah. speck of it. Yeah, um, no waste. So this is another design that we're gonna show you today. And this is actually using a jelly roll. This one actually too, our daughter um, was visiting here who was new to quilting. She's never quilted before. And she put this together. So it, she had a fun time. So this is definitely a nice quilt um, for beginners or just for a quick quilt. Yep. It's fantastic. I actually, I think this would be a really cute bedspread as well. So like if you wanted to make larger sizes. So I this one, you'll kind of see as we get going, we've arranged the blocks from light to dark. So this right here is a block. Mm -hmm. We're gonna show you how to do that. So you can start to see a zigzag pattern. And this is what putting it together the way we're gonna show you today creates. Yep. So the first thing you do is you line up your fabrics. Hi, mom. Hey, sweetie. Oh, are we gonna switch sides? Yep. Okay. So we are going to take our fabrics and then we are just gonna arrange them from lightest to darkest. So when you get your kit, you would probably want to do this the first thing. So yeah. just take all of your strips. Um, if you want to arrange them in a chevron pattern, it's lightest to darkest. Sometimes the, the fabric collection isn't quite so light graduating to dark. Um, and it can just be random too. Yeah. You just sew I five think strips random together. Would be really pretty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have, we arranged our fabric strips and so it goes from lightest to darkest. And so now we just need to sew these strips up. And so my mom will my get sewing? on. Yep. All righty. My mom will get on the machine. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the light one and we are gonna flip it onto the second one. We're just gonna line them up. Yep, and actually at the same time, just take the third one and flip it to the fourth. Yeah. I was getting you just need to You just need to remember what side to sew it on. I always put a little pin. And actually, Emily, yeah. we should pin the whole, just put a couple pins in there. Okay. Because as you sew, fabric moves because you have feed dogs on the bottom and it pulls that fabric through. And sometimes the fabrics get pulled through at different speeds. So that creates... Um, and sometimes fabric stretches too and so it can... Yeah. All right, that's manipulated. Good. Did I get the right side? Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, so let me get my little handy dandy. Then I'll get the iron. Glasses on. Get the iron warmed up in the Make meantime. Make sure they're straight. Last time they were crooked. <laughs> so are we straight? <laughs> no. Oh, they're still crooked. I think I need new glasses, people. Or new ears, I don't know either New one. ears, I can't get new ears. <laughs> All right, here we go. So let is, um, whoop. Sorry, I do about a two and a half stitch length. And you're just gonna sew down. So you wanna do a quarter inch seam. Now pre-cut jelly rolls, they all have that pinked edging. So that pinked little mountain tops is part of your quarter inch. So make sure you line the tips of those little peaks right up against the edge of your however you're marking your quarter inch. All righty. We are 
almost done with this one. Okay, I can trade you. Okay. All right, so while she sews that one, I'm just gonna iron this. So first we're going to set the seam. So you just very lightly just press on the stitch. And then we're going to iron to the darker side. And so we are going to have the light facing actually, you. And actually on this one, as long as you iron them all in the same direction. So it's just, okay. yeah, it's okay. okay. Just, just iron them all, whether it's all going towards the dark, darkest piece or towards the lightest. Okay. So that works. Ow! I'm going to, sorry. <laughs> I pinned myself. Today I'm going to iron towards the dark. All right, as you go to sewing, just make little adjustments if it starts not lining up. All right, so while she's ironing that, oh, you already got it done. Yeah, cool. All right, so we're just going to lay him back down to keep track of how we sew it. And you can actually just sew all these strips together and then iron it. But just since once. we're working as a team here, um, we're just saving time by her ironing it for me. But it can all be done after you sew it. All right, so we're gonna add this last strip on here. And we're gonna add a couple little pins to keep it lined up. Well, hi, Luna. You gonna come say hi to us? Okay, sorry. Come here, come, come say here, hi, Poppy. Come here. Come here. Oh, All yeah. right, here we go. Oh. Oh. She's Puppy Luna. <laughs> she is our 14 week old golden doodle puppy. And she's getting so big. Oh, oh thank you for the kisses. All right, just again, make sure that everything stays lined up. And then I just need to show you one thing when I get this one done. All right, so Emily, if you would iron this one. I'm just gonna show you one sewing tip after she irons that one. So when you're sewing rows together like this, it's a good idea to alternate sewing directions. If you don't, sometimes it creates a little bow in the strip set. So, so this strip, I started here and I sewed this way. And actually both of these, I started here and I sewed this direction. So with this one right here, I wanna start at this end and I wanna sew here. That'll help balance everything out a little bit. So we're gonna flip it. And I wanna start sewing from this direction. So I'm also gonna add a, a few little pins in there. Cause jelly rolls can get a little stretchy. If you pull, see if you pull too hard, see that little stretch in there? And that's what will create a little bit of a bow um, it's just natural to sometimes pull it or the machine kind of pulls it a little different and it creates a little bit of that wonkiness. So I'm pinning it will help reduce that. All right, so let's just sew this row. Ooh, where's my presser foot or my thingy? Here we go. I love this quilt. Hannah did a really good job, our sister, at making it. All right, always just double check as you go, just to 
keep it lined up on those edges. All right, so one more quick press on that. There we go. Oh, I'm actually doing that the wrong way. It's okay. This one, it, it really doesn't matter how you iron it okay. because the seams, they don't meet except for when you sew the blocks together like this. That's what's fantastic with this quilt. If you don't have to line up seams. Amen, give those to me. Yes, for the most, of the, most part of the blocks, it's really nice. Okay, all right, so these blocks are going to, um, you're gonna cut it in half, and you're actually going to square them up at 10 and a half inches. So what I usually do is I just kind of line up this little edge along here, and that'll kind of tell you how straight it is. Sorry, grab that. So this one's sewed up fairly straight. Um, this one is definitely at 10 and a half that way. So we can actually go around and trim a little bit just to keep it nice and straight. But just remember, you use almost every bit of this. So um, if you're squaring up the ends, use as little as possible. Yeah, we are cutting off hardly, hardly anything. Yep. Okay. So we're gonna go up 10 and a half inches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and a half. Now just remember, uh oh, uh -oh. I moved it. Let's put it back. Where was ten and a half? Ten. I think and it was half. fourteen, about the fourteen mark, fourteen and a half mark. Pull that down. You know, I like this other side better. All right, so this is fourteen and a half. Always double count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and a half. All right. So let you cut that. Okay. And we're going to go up ten and a half more. Half, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. And cut that. Cut ten or ten and a half? Double count. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten and a half. Okay. All right. So now that we've cut these, just redo it. Make sure that they are ten and a half inches. So we're going to line them up. This one can be trimmed just a tiny bit, but this is an important step. So don't say, oh, they look like they're about right. Take your ruler. Make up here, is that what you're talking about? And go through and make sure that they are exactly 10 and a half. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, did you check all the edges? Check all the edges. Looks good to me. Is that ten and a half? Yep, okay, yep. All right, so there's our first one. That one's... You just kind of do the same thing with this one and take a little bit off the top. And it's okay if it just comes off of one side. The way this quilt works, no one will ever know one block, one strip is a little bit shorter than another. Six. Okay. Are all the other edges good? Yep. Okay. All right, so we've got a couple sewn over on the ironing board, Emily, if you wanna grab those. Yep. And you can also grab um, this. Yeah. All right, so this is how it's, it started. Oh, we're just gonna work this way. Okay, so this is it. We're gonna kind of hang it down just a little bit. Um, I actually marked that row one, but we're okay for now. All right, so these blocks, so this is, can you see how these go straight? We're gonna, twist it right above it like that. So you just alternate your blocks. One is gonna go this way, the next one, except on this one we're actually following a pattern. 
So this so I think pattern. That one goes, no, 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 no. Yeah. That way. Yeah, this way. <laughs> okay. And then this one. Yeah, no, you're right. Goes. It creates yep. a zigzag like this. Yep. So now that you have all of your squares squared up, you basically are ready to assemble the quilt. And so assembling the quilt is really easy because, oh, Sorry, there's, a, a, there's thread. a thread. Assembling the quilt is really easy because you just alternate between. Um, between we're, we're going vertical yeah. and then going horizontal. Yeah. So you would basically lay them all out on the floor, just arrange it into a pleasing manner. Mm -hmm. And in some of the tutorials, the um, piecing one, I believe is that the one, we um, have talked about how to, once they're laid out in rows, you pin the first block in that row. So this would like be a number one. Whoop. So this would be a number one. This row here would be number two. Mm -hmm. So we would pin them. Um, and we're just going to review. I know we've touched this in a lot of videos. Yeah. When you're ironing the, the rows, number one, you start at the one side and you press all the seams this way. So at each block, intersection all the seams are going to go that way so if you can see all the seams are going this way on the even number rows you press towards the pin so all these seams are running this way so that creates a nesting so when you sew the rows together see how those seams nest at each intersection right there and that's what you want to have happen so that's what you do with with the whole quilt, once you lay your um, quilt out, number your rows. Yep. Um, odd rows, press from the pin that way. Even rows, press from the end to the pin. Yep. And the rows will go together perfectly. Very easily. Yep. So we wish you guys the best of luck in making this kit. Send us pictures, tag us on social media. We would love to see your um, your finished projects and and we have tutorials yeah. on binding and finishing and quilting it so. all that so check those out to finish the quilt happy quilting bye bye